Hello, this is a video response to the Dave's uh, review of the uh, the ES 1052E Rigol unit. is a It is a two-channel, 50 megahertz, one gig sample per second uh, digital storage oscilloscope. Oscilloscope. <coughs> Here we are to the world per division, time per division, and the trigger level and basic menu. Why I am I am explaining that to you? I will get to that right in a minute. Uh, when I purchased it purchased this unit a week ago I played when I got home I played with it uh, for like 30 minutes and then it um, came in then it crashed because of a silly bug or at least a silly problem why I'll show you just in a minute um, you've got the basic measuring screen here two channels um, here we got the trigger menu the, the menu button if we press that the menu the menu opens up it came down to this the problem that is um, the problem lies in here in the slope if I just press that now it's set to rising edge I I've just set it down to falling and now watch watch what happens um, when I switch it over to switch it over to transition the oscilloscope crashes um, I don't know why, I'm guessing because of a silly software bug, it is really annoying. Um, I hope that the guys over at Rigol do know for this problem. Um, I'm posting this video for just for them, because I know that Dave has, I think he has some connections back at Rigol. Um, Dave, please notify Rigol uh, about this problem. And anyone who owns a Rigol, please try your unit yourself for this particular um, uh, setting, a menu, and the edge, and rising, falling, and transition. Mine, mine crashed at the transition one. Also, when I returned this unit, I thought it was just a random error. Um, I returned this to my, um, uh, my shop where I bought it. And the guy had um, three other uh, Rigol oscilloscopes. One of two of them were DS 1052Es. As you can see, it crashed right after it booted up. Um, well, two of them were Rigol DS 1052Es, and one of them was that DS 11102. Oh my God! It crashed again. Uh, why I am so desperate to get to press that start stop button i'll show you just in a minute da -da -da -da. okay start stop um i noticed that after it crashes you know, when you power it off and power it back on again after it boot after it boots um it takes a second or two to switch on the base the and the measuring part of the or at least the where all the chips and things lot things are for the import input measuring um, things and the relays um, DACs and things like that or analog to digital converters sorry about that um, right before that right before that unit switches on I press the start stop button and that freezes the system so it gives it allows me to, um, to basically to get into the system I will just point the camera away for a moment so I can cover the serial number I don't want uh, the serial number to be serial number to be copied all over YouTube and <laughs> all over internet as you can see my model I hope it will focus if you yeah we won't see it's a it's a DS 1052e unit <coughs> my seri software version is point oh oh point oh two point oh five service pack one or sp1 as you can see um installed modules are fft uh, installed modules modules are fft usb pass fail rs232 they are well they are they are all working perfectly i'll just exit the menu okay <clears throat> um to get past this problem i'll just have to go to self calibration mode and self calibrate the unit um, the unit will crash at the same setting no doesn't matter if it if there's something connected 
to do the inputs or not it will crash anyway I hope well please check your rival for this um, this error and please post a video response for this video response um, uh, please supply the software version and uh, if you have this this problem or not well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to Dave's EEV blog YouTube channel and my uh, YouTube channel um, for more DIY homebrew um, projects reviews videos and oscilloscopes oh sorry for measuring for equipment review thanks for watching